everybody. I'm Greenlight the Day. It's Sally, and I'm greenlighting my day with you right here. This morning I got up, as I usually do, turn on the computer, get my coffee, come watch Facebook, check up what I missed the night before when I was sleeping and everybody in the U.S. that I know was up doing something interesting. Um, and two videos came across my plate, uh, my, my, my virtual plate, and they affected me profoundly. Very, very different like extreme different, uh, extremely different, but they opened me up. They opened up my mind to the world of possibility, uh, encouraged me, excited me, and, excuse me, impassioned me. They didn't make me sneeze. That's just the dust in my office. Okay. Now, the first one was on, um, uh, uh, what's that thing with Simon Cowell, where you're going to be a star, or whatever thing it is. And uh, there was this little old lady who came out, really, you know, gray-haired, a little hunched, a little hunched, white-gray, lots of wrinkles, your typical little old lady, with a, a taller gentleman in dance attire. So she, they got picked over a little bit, and they said, go ahead and dance. Well do your thing, and Simon, of course, it was like a little slow, it was a little, up, kind of an Apache dance, which is that thing in France when the man is throwing the whatever and the lady pulls, or a little more tango-ish, kind of, kind of Latin, could have been something Hispanic, I don't know, because these people are from Spain, anyway, this little old British lady who had moved to Spain after her husband passed away, took up dancing, which she hadn't done since she was a young woman, and got married and had four children, years and years later, children grown, moves to Spain, husband dies. I have no idea what age she was when that all occurred. But she started to take dance again. And all of a sudden, you saw Simon give the X on this couple because it was a little slow, although her partner was a young, young, strong man. Next thing you know, she is doing things I have never even seen regular women do, young women do, flinging around, throwing over the head, swinging through the legs, swinging this way. You must watch this video, I kid you not. Well, she just finishes and he says, so, so tell me about you. Oh my goodness, what, what is that? I'm sorry I, you know, rang you out before I saw the real action happen. And basically she was 80 years old, 80 years old. Now, that made me think immediately, anything is still possible for me. Anything is always possible. If there's something you want to do, I think of all the women I know in the outside of the WLS community, but also inside, people that I have followed that I've seen totally change their lives and become new people and, and, and pick up new passions, new new activities, new art forms, I think of, or, or increase the art form they were already dabbling in. I think of Nicole Buckley and what she's done between swimming in the open water, which just always, always amazes me, and all the sewing. I mean, it's like she picked up sewing and making quilts and dolls and and painting, started with the painting. I've never seen anybody. She's like Grandma Moses on steroids, except she's not old enough to be Grandma Moses. I think about this little 80-year-old lady. I think about, um, well, I won't name any more names, but everyone who's gone out and recreated themselves after having this weight loss surgery and changed their lives. I know this is not the topic of this show, but I have to mention it. Okay, so... It just encouraged me to realize there's nothing else that I, I, if I, if I, nothing the universe couldn't bring me if I didn't want it and seek it, and it's not too late for me. And then I did the math. Now here's the scary part. I did the math. The woman's 80. I will be 57 on Sunday. And that means the woman is what? You know, my math is not very good. That means that woman with the gray hair is 23 years older than I am. 23 years older than I am. That's the difference between me and this lady. Now, the scary thought is, she looks like a little old lady. <laughs> but she dances like a a, a, a an 18-year-old. Fit is a fiddle. I have never seen anything like it. You must watch the video. Okay. Anything is possible is how I green-lighted my day. Now, with that wonderful sense of anything's possible and you're open to the universe and what a glorious world we live in is a little social responsibility on the other video that I watch. Granted, it's got the F-bomb in it quite a lot. Some of you might have seen this video. I think it's a viral video that just came across my path. It's called, it's um, Potty Mouth Princesses Drop F-bombs for Feminism. Well, 
I was born in 1957. Feminism was something that occurred during my lifetime, in my young life. I kind of took all that for granted. I'd grown up in a time where women had the vote, and I mean, that sounds really pathetic to say, but more and more women have come into their own and have a voice. And yet, we go on as if we think everything's still okay. And for those of us who have daughters, whose daughters will have daughters, and daughters, and daughters, and daughters, and we are the daughters. My grandmother was a suffragette. I, this video will blow your mind. All the girls are dressed up as pretty, pretty princesses. And there's this wonderful kind of poem, kind of, um, you know, piece that they're speaking that cuts in and out from the different girls saying the same thing, so it's all different people. A lot of F-bombs, but that is to get your attention and make you really listen, or this message would not be listened to. It would be a yawner to most of the people that would watch it. And the fact that, do you realize that women still are paid 23% less than men in the same job? Still, this is the... This is 2014, people. 23% less for the same job a woman is paid. Would you want that? Would you think that's fair to your daughter? I don't think that's fair to your daughter. Here's the one that really threw me. Women and men go out after graduation, get a job. Women, wait, 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 let me read this exactly right. This, this really threw me. Oh, this isn't on here. It's going to bug me. Let me see if I can just play it. Grand equal more bank just because you're a... All right, let's see if we can hear this. And women who graduate university with straight A's get paid as much as men who only got C's. So bad grades equal more bank just because you're a boy. Um, hello and... Yeah, oh, hello. Girls who graduate from college with an A got paid the same or got the same jobs as men were hired the same thing that had C's that were that C was their yeah girls have to have an A to be good enough to have the job that they're hiring men with C that had C averages in university what does that tell us about our country and what does that say for our daughters it does not say a good thing so I went from being really inspired by this little old lady who could just do anything to seeing the reality is there are generations of women coming behind me that still, still are going to be fighting for true, true, um, blind, blind equality. Justice is supposed to be blind. Remember the justice thing with the scales and the, yeah. But equality is not blind in our country. And this is, you know, it goes on beyond male and female, but I think you got to start somewhere. Male and female, and then many, many, many of the other people groups, gender groups, um, uh, ethnic groups are, are, you know, I think this country has grown enough to be able to feel like the church isn't going to crash into the ground if we just feel like everybody should be treated fairly and equally in one way or another. And that's my personal opinion. I've certainly grown into that opinion, just like I had to grow into the comfort level of hearing these little girls use the F-bomb. Now, hopefully, I, I like to believe that when they all went home from their little acting job, that their parents said, you know, that will not be an appropriate word for you to use in our home on a regular basis. That was a gig, and that's the end of the F-bomb words I ever want to hear out of your mouth, young lady. So, in my fantasy world, that would be what it was. But anything for getting the, the message out. I, I will put both of these links below. I just want us to remember that there's still a lot of work to do. We all have something we can contribute. We all, I hope, want to be more and more open as we age and not closed down and stuck. I don't ever want to be stuck. I don't want there to be a day that I don't grow and open myself up to a new experience and to a new revelation of truth and to a new perspective. That's how I'm greenlighting my day. Um, I hope you will all find a wonderful way to greenlight yours. I'll put the links below for these two videos if they interest you at all, but they certainly will re resonate with me. I'll talk to you guys soon. Make it a great one. Bye.